My name is Willie Farrell, and I'm a senior software engineer in the IBM Developer Skills team. This demo is the fifth in a nine-part series that supplements the Developer Works Live Briefing, Architecture, Design, and Construction using the IBM Rational Software Delivery Platform. In this series, you will see the demos that are performed as part of the live presentation of that briefing. In this demo, you will see the transformation capabilities of the Rational Architecture tools that allow you to generate code from your UML models. In the demo, I use Rational Software Architect. I need to point out that both Rational Software Modeler and Rational Systems Developer have the capability to perform transformations. However, not all of the predefined transformations that come with Rational Software Architect are available with the Rational Software Modeler and Rational Systems Developer. To perform a transformation, you have to first create a transformation configuration. From the main menu, select File, New, Transformation Configuration. Name the transformation My Project Transform to Java, then expand IBM Rational Transformations. Select UML to Java 5.0. We'll put the configuration file in My Project. Click Next. We need to select the source, that is the UML model to be transformed. We'll do the transformation on My Model. Expand My Project. Expand Models. And select My Model. We now need to select a target for the transformation, that is a Java project to contain the generated code. We don't have a Java project created, so we can use the Create New Target Container button to create the Java project. Name the project My Java Project and click Finish. With the source and the target set, we have all the basics covered to create the transformation configuration. But let's take a look at the rest of the wizard to see additional properties that we can define for the configuration. Click Next. We'll accept the defaults here, which specify that getters and setters should be generated for the attributes in the UML model, that the code should be generated as Java 5, and that we should be prompted before any obsolete generated files are deleted. An example of an obsolete file would be a generated Java class for which we have removed the class definition in the UML model. Click Next. This dialog allows us to map UML collection types to specific Java implementations. We'll accept the defaults. Click Next. Mapping allows us to specify exactly which files and folders are created or updated during a transformation. This gives us very detailed control of the transformation. Without mapping enabled, the transformation creates files and folders in the target in a one-to-one -one relationship with the source. We will not enable mapping for our transformation. We can now create the transformation configuration by clicking Finish. The transformation configuration is created and opened in an editor. Here we could make changes to the configuration. Close the editor by clicking the X on the tab. To perform the transformation, right click on the transformation configuration file, select Transform, UML to Java v5.0. Now we can look at the code that was generated by the transformation. We'll switch to a Java perspective to do that. From the main menu, select Window, Open Perspective, Java. Expand My Java Project. Expand Sample. And double click MyClass.Java. Double-click the Java Editor tab to expand it. Here we can see the class declaration, the declaration of the MyAttribute variable, and the getter and setter for the variable. Scroll down. At the bottom of the source file, we can see the declaration of my operation. You will have to fill in the body of the method. Double-click the Editor tab to restore it to its normal size. Now let's create a transformation configuration to transform my model 2 so that we can see what kind of code is generated when a pattern is used. Use the modeling perspective button in the upper right to return to the modeling perspective. 
From the main menu, select File, New, Transformation Configuration. Name the transformation My Project 2 Transform to Java and expand IBM Rational Transformations. Select UML to Java v5.0. Put the configuration file in My Project 2. Click Next. Expand My Project 2. Expand Models. And select My Model 2. Click Create New Target Container. Name the project My Java Project 2 and click Finish. Then click Finish to create the transformation configuration. Close the transformation configuration editor. Scroll down in the Project Explorer view to make the new transformation configuration file visible. Right click the configuration file, select Transform, UML to Java v5.0. Scroll up in the Project Explorer to make My Java Project 2 visible. Expand My Java Project 2, expand Sample, and double click MyClass.java. Double click the Java Editor tab to expand it. No surprises here, it looks just like the code from the previous transformation. But scroll down to the bottom. Here we can see the code generated from the pattern. A static variable is declared to hold an instance of my class. The constructor for my class has been declared private. No class except my class can call the constructor. Finally, the getInstance method is provided to return a reference to the static variable, thus controlling access to the one, and only one, instance that can be created. Let's close up all the open files and diagrams. Double-click the Java Editor tab to return it to its normal size. From the main menu, select File, Close All. This completes the Transformations demo. In this demo, you saw examples of the transformation capabilities of the Rational Architecture tools. You saw how Java can be generated from a UML model, and you also saw how the generated code can be affected by the use of a design pattern in the model.